The plans for campus were made in 1908. That's when the architects made the original plans. And the University of Saskatchewan and is known for its historical that. architecture, but as horticulturists yeah, Ellen Misfeld uh, and Jackie Bantle really tell these community members, oh, the campus's plants also have a rich history. Cool. The elm trees along the bowl here, those were some of the first elm trees planted, and we thought they're about 100 years old, Ellen. Yeah, so these elm trees are about 100 yeah, years old. As part of Hort Week at the U of S, Bantle and Miss Felt led participants of all ages on a walking tour around campus, educating those involved on the subject of horticulture, a field that has a lengthy history of its own at the university. We'll be walking through various areas of the campus, looking at some of the uh, plantings on campus, some of the different gardens. Ellen and I will be giving uh, the information that we have about the plants and some of the history of how the plants got there and how the grounds were developed. We have a really beautiful campus and it kind of gives people an opportunity to see the unique things that we have going on, some of the older architecture that we have as well. It puts our university in such a good light and especially the horticulture program as a whole because it is a smaller part of the plant science department so this kind of gets our name out there. The horticulture program has been running since the 20s um, so it's a really old program and it's nice to kind of push it to the forefront. Every year Hort Week takes place around the same time at the university. This year guests had the opportunity to take part in more than 30 different gardening workshops and free horticultural tours. We had uh, backyard vegetable gardening, we had some stained glass uh, birdhouse classes, there was some tree and shrub identification classes, uh, there was even a class just on melons. We offer classes three times a day so it gives people a, a lot of information in a short amount of time and people like to know stuff and then they're able to take that back to a lot of people take it and they work at old folks homes or they work at community gardens and they can kind of promote it to their their communities that they live in as well. Community members, including University of Saskatchewan staff and students, took part in Hort Week, as did visitors from out of province. We're the only horticulture department in Western Canada. We're actually part of the plant sciences department, but the Hort specialty. And yeah, I hear there's people here from Manitoba because we offer such a good uh, program during, during Hort Week. Offering programs of value to people from across Canada, this week-long event also serves as an opportunity for university staff to connect with the public. Horticulture is really something that uh, anyone can do and there's a lot of interest for it. People love being outdoors, growing flowers, growing vegetables. When I was a kid, I just loved being outdoors and uh, planting flowers and I was the person who always was cut, we were on an acreage so I was cutting the lawn and making flower beds and to me Hort Week means that we are reaching out to the public and sharing our passion, our information so that we can share horticulture and make the city of Saskatoon and all surrounding areas a more beautiful place. Although Hort Week 2016 has wrapped up, the university runs horticulture workshops throughout the year. For more information, visit ccde.usask.ca. Um, in the back, you can see that kind of scraggly-looking plant. That's a pygmy caragana.